He says, and Matt, I'm ashamed of this because the way that she loved me and the way that she cared about me and the things that she did for me, he says, I should have treated her so much better. He always said that. He always said that. <laughs> he says, you were not the problem. I was. Courtney, where are you from? I'm from Costa Mesa, California. Oh, great. Well, first of all, I'm glad that you're here. And right away, there's a, there's a couple souls that I'm hearing from. There's a grandmother that's here, that's stepping forward in spirit, that's watching over you. But also, I keep hearing of this young male that passed here in the physical world, tragically, that's trying to step forward and speak. Was that your boyfriend or significant other? Because right away when I was connecting, I saw him lean over and kiss you from the other side. He says to me, Matt, I have to let her know that I'm here. He says, because since the time of his passing, you have been beating yourself up wondering what had happened and more importantly, questioning about everything that happened between you and between him. Is it all right to tell you everything? Because right away he says to me, he goes, Matt, I don't want her to have anxiety anymore. He tells me that you keep having anxiety and you keep getting having like panic attacks since his passing because like you feel like you're fine. You feel like you're okay. And then all of a sudden you realize that he's not here physically with you. He says to Matt, he goes, I keep watching her from heaven. And I keep watching her having this anxiety and this pain. He shows me about the way that you've been trying to heal because he shows me you literally take like three steps forward and then you feel like you take three steps back. But he says to me, Matt, he says to me, those, that pain that she's feeling is there because of me. And the first thing that he's telling me when I'm connecting with him is he actually talks about you and him having relationship issues before he had died here in this world. And I know that that's something that you did not want me to bring up today, but it's something that I have to talk about because he's telling me that you feel like you pushed him away in your relationship. Is that true? Yeah. Can I, please, can I please tell you that it's not? Can I please tell you that he's telling me, Matt, because he's literally begging me and saying, Matt, you need to tell Courtney that she was the one that was holding on to us. You were the one that always fixed everything. And you need to know this today. And you need to listen to what I'm saying. Because he says to me, Matt, he goes, I'm going to be honest. He says, I got involved in things here in this world that I should never have gotten involved in. And right away when I'm connecting with him, he's showing me that there were substances involved in his passing. More so, I'm also seeing pills here as well, Courtney. Yeah. Did you, did you know about this? Yeah, I did. I, did. I was hoping that you didn't because he says to me, he tried to keep this a secret. I'm going to tell you the God's honest truth because that's the reason why you're here. Sometimes what happens when, when we lose a loved one, we go through grief and grief can make us think something other than the truth. So I'm going to tell you everything that he's telling me because he tells me he's literally in my ear right now and saying to me, Matt, you need to go and connect with her. He says, because she has been fighting so many things in her head and so many things that aren't true. He tells me when I'm connecting with him that everybody else around him walked out of his life, he tells me. He says, Matt, I didn't have anybody. He said, all I had was her. He says, my own family gave up on me, he tells me. Yeah. He tells me she was the only person that was left in my life. He says, and Matt, I'm ashamed of this because the way that she loved me and the way that she cared about me and the things that she did for me, he says, I should have treated her so much better. He always said that. He always said that. <laughs> well, he's here to tell you one thing. He says, you were not the problem. I was. He says, I didn't give up the pills. And that's what ended up causing my passing. Do you understand that? He says to me that he's coming through right now because he needs to let you know how much that he loves you and how much that he cares about you. Because he says, I'm, I don't want to see her live her life in pain. He says, but I want her to know the facts. I want her to know that I know that she was there for me. He goes, she loved me. She cared about me. She did all of these things. He says, and I promised her that one day we would get married or we would be together. He says, yeah, we, had, we had just picked out rings and everything. So you would just picked out rings before we had died. So know that this is why he's coming through because he tells me that you feel like he abandoned you here in this world <laughs> because he left. But he says to me, Matt, he goes, you need to let her know. I regret this every single day. He says, because I know how my life would have been different if I just gave up these addictions, he tells me. But why he's coming through is because he wants to let you know that he can't go back and change the past. But what he can do is one, let you know how he truly feels about you. Two, let you know that he's with you every single day. And three, to let you know that you're not going through this alone. Because he tells me that you feel like you don't have, that there's no one that you can talk to about this. There's nobody that understands. Because I'm going to be honest with you. He even tells me that you went against your own family to pursue a relationship with him because he tells me Matt her family didn't like me he tells me <laughs> <laughs> it's true it's true but 
I know how much she sacrificed for me. And he, by the way, he's going to me like this. He's going to me, Matt. He goes, I can't believe he goes that I'm actually here right now. I can't believe that I could talk to her through you. And he's saying to me, first of all, he wants to thank you for keeping his sweatshirts, the sweaters that you kept of his here in the physical world. And he's also telling me that you kept his phone. There was a phone that you kept of his. And he says to me, Matt, she actually goes through and she'll, she, he tell, he told me, you going through his old pictures and going through like messages of his. And there's even times when you'll play his voice. <laughs> But the one thing that he wants to let you know is this. He says, you need to keep on living. He says, here in this world, he says, Matt, he goes, I was so upset with my life. He says, and I met her at a time when I was upset, when I was sad, when I was mad, when I was hurt. He says, and she came in and she turned my whole life around. He says, and she gave me another chance at love, at living, at all of these things. How long ago did he pass? Um... In a couple of days, there'll be a year. Because I know there was a recent passing and you're so lucky that he's coming through right now. Because sometimes <laughs> it's that long time for somebody to step forward and to speak. He talks about the notes that you write him. So do you journal or do you write him little notes? All the time. And he tells me you're nervous about leaving him because sometimes you will feel his spirit <laughs> with you. And one of the questions that you say to him or that you question is, what happens if he's not here? What if I don't feel him anymore? What if one day he leaves me? He goes, listen, I will be here on your journey in spirit. He wants to let you know one thing, which is so important. He wants to promise that you're not gonna give up your life here in this world. And I'm telling you this for one reason. He says to me that you gave up so much of your life to help him to heal here in this world. You gave up so much of your love, your life and your time so that he could live here in the physical world. He says to me when I'm connecting, I don't want you to give up any more of your life because of grief, sadness, or hurt because of me. He says, I want you to go out there. I want you to, to make new memories. He tells me about your love of travel. He tells me that you love to travel. You've been wanting to travel the world and the country. He says, do what you love and know that I'm there with you in spirit. What's this with the dog? A couple months earlier, we had gotten a puppy together and um, I still have, he's right here next to me. I still have him. That's crazy because he's saying to me when I'm connecting with him, Matt, he goes, you know that that dog, he says, I still check up on, he tells me. And sometimes that dog sees him. So if he's like, <laughs> the dog starts jumping around or barking at things that aren't there, that's what he's acknowledging about. Can we, can I see the dog? Show me the, the, the this little puppy. Yeah, absolutely. He's sleeping right here. Where here. was he? Oh my God, how cute. So know that that's his way of just acknowledging in spirit that he is there that he's watching over you. And more importantly, that every day that goes by, he says, Matt, let her know that I'm just an angel that's close by. Thank you so much. And this, this means so much to me because everything that you said, it, it's like, it, it's him, you know, it's what he would, it's what he always said to me, everything that he always wanted. Thank you so much. Well, listen, don't thank me, thank him. He, this was possible because of him. <laughs>